I'm Lana Hardin, creator of Voice Blocks. Currently, can you believe there are 7.2 million special needs students in U.S. public schools who require an individual education plan or IEP? Parents across the country voice their frustration with the process especially after diagnosis. As a K-8 grade curriculum provider, SEL teacher, and parent of a child who previously was diagnosed with an IEP, I too understand their pain. Once diagnosed, parents must oversee really three areas of care. One is identification of needs, two is coordination of resources, and then three, execution. Number two is where voice blocks really shine. We provide a roadmap to coordinate care and track IEP compliance. Jessica Vaughn is my developer, and we built the app using Bubble. So during MVP, we focused on two key features. The first is uploading the child's IEP. A frustrated parent will come to the Buy Now button, make a purchase, which will then take them through the checkout process. They can enter the email, submit all their information, zip code, and then proceed to create a profile. The profile is very simple and easy. What they're going to do is put in their name of their email, and then create a really short, brief password. Once they create their password, they'll be able to go to the next step, which is to give us information about their child. We'll take their name, their age, and their grade level. But what we found is that resources are geographically specific, so we want to get some information about their school district and their school. Then we're going to proceed and, of course, do the IEP upload, which is our first feature. We'll upload the IEP. They will let us know their child's diagnosis, and then they'll give us just some quick brief overview. Next, we go to a needs intake assessment where they're going to let us know, where you read your rights? Were you uh, in need of any specific services? And some more information that allow us to build a future relationship. And then finally, the key feature is an actionable roadmap. So we'll give them a roadmap. And that roadmap will tell them, number one, what is their role as a parent in the IEP process? Number two, what is their rights and responsibility? We also list some resources where they can learn more. Number three, we also want to prevent those researches, resources, referrals, and let them know it's a repeatable process. And then finally, four is a reminder, because in another year, they're going to need another IEP, and we'll be there to help them with that process. And finally, we want them to connect with us and become a part of our community.